a lot of people felt like I couldn't reach this point. People talked about my size, my game, that I was selfish and I couldn't make it here with the guys that I'm playing with. So, you know, it makes the story that much better at the end. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Game 1 of the NBA Finals. This one could be for the ages. The Los Angeles Lakers could become the first team in history to run the table in the playoffs. They have already dismantled Portland, Sacramento, and San Antonio, and now they come in a prohibitive favorite against Philadelphia. It's Whoa, all over tonight! Billy Keith, baby! Billy Keith, baby! Iverson, he, oh, he might get a couple points, but that's it! It's Allen Iverson and Shaq. Truly a David and Goliath story. Let's get dirty. Let's get dirty. As the 2001 NBA Finals opened, the idea that the Philadelphia 76ers, led by six foot, 160 pound Allen Iverson, could defeat the defending champion LA Lakers and their seven foot one, 330 pound superstar Shaquille O'Neal seemed absurd. Who can stop the Giants? The Lakers had gone undefeated during the playoffs. And in game one, they took an early 13-point lead on Philly and looked ready to knock them out. Just calm down, guys. All the shit is there. All is on them. They're supposed to win. We ain't even supposed to be here. Iverson and his Sixers may have been down, but they weren't out. In fact, they had the Lakers right where they wanted them. Incredible shot by Iverson. The Philly comeback, like Iverson, would be relentless. We got to pressure their ass up the floor. Allen, on missed shots, get your hands on the ball. These two guys will run their ass off, right? Throughout the playoffs, Iverson had willed his team to victory, and he wasn't ready to stop now. Court skip is picked off by Iverson. Down the floor he goes against O'Neal. Allen by the big man, scoop by him. It's good. A foot race, the tortoise and the hare. Steal by Iverson. Back on Bryant. Easy layup. He is fierce. This young guy is amazing. But casting a shadow over the hopes of the Sixers was O'Neal. Shaq, Oof, slam over the top of a tumble. And Shaq powered the game into overtime. Take a deep breath and understand we got five minutes to get one up on you. Right? Five minutes. But once overtime started, the Lakers seemed to have order restored. They had the momentum, the crowd, O'Neal and the lead. But Philly had the answer. One thing about Iverson is no quit in him. You just know he's got a couple of bullets left in his holster. You just know he's coming at him. Here's Allen Iverson outside the arc. He tees up a three. It's good. He drilled it. A three by Allen Iverson. One minute to go in overtime. What a comeback here. The Lakers had the Sixers on the ropes. They come fighting out of the corner. Here's Iverson. Lose the defender. Stays right with him. Allen wants to go. Wants the baseline. He fires two ball. Got it again. He's way too good. He steps around Lou and drilled it. Seven straight points by Iverson. Looked like he was dead in the water. Sixers shocked the world with a game one victory here over the world champion Los Angeles Lakers. The irrepressible Allen Iverson. You cannot kill that guy. They can put the brooms away. That's one, baby. That's right. We didn't do that yet. We got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. They can put the brooms up, though. Ain't gonna do none of that. As long as you leave everything out on the basketball court, I mean, you can go in the locker room and look at the mirror, in the mirror and feel good about yourself, and that's important. But when you don't leave it all out there, then, you know, kind of feel like, you know, you as a person, kind of, you know, kind of suspect.